How's it going guys? Welcome back to another episode of Trailmakers Workshop Hunter. Let's jump right into it and see what you guys have been up to. Alright, the first build we're going to be taking a look at is the Red Demon by Toro. Description says probably the most controllable Trailmakers aircraft flies super flat. Easy fly through the aircraft carrier multiple times without crashing. Superb control. Alright, well Toro, we're going to have a look at your Red Demon here. Let's see if the Red Demon says what it says it can do, man. Let's see. Well, I got a pretty interesting design here. Some sideways wings. Wonder where he came up with that. Ooh. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. See that? The rear section is on a, a rod down the middle of the wings. And genius. It's bloody genius. All right, let's see how it flies. Some tiny thrusters here, some space, that's right. We got AD space SW8 and 9. 8 and 9, really? Alright. Oh boy, what's 8 and 9 do? Oh, it makes you sink in the water. Blub. Oh, look. Look, it not come out. Alright. Try that again, shall we? Let's see what A9 does on the ground. Ah, oh, it's the back fins, eh? But, okay, so 8 makes it go down. And 9 is just there to make you push it. Apparently. And it works really good because I'm pushing it lots and nothing's happening. <laughs> Alright, so 8 uh, is... Uh, Alright, it looks like that might possibly be connected to sensors somewhere to stay at that angle. All right, let's fly then. Let's assume that we've got all the control con controls. Maybe we shouldn't be making assumptions, eh? All right, come on, up, up, uppity up, uppity uppity up. No, that's 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 not up enough. We've got to go a wee bit higher. Let's face this way, where we've got a short room. Build up some speed, then lift the nose. Nice and gentle. But it's nice and quiet, isn't it? It does fly quite straight. Nice and flat. Oh yeah, look at that, the front. The front turns a wee bit. Alright, he says you can fly through the aircraft carrier. Your mission, if you choose to accept it, fly through the carrier and don't crash. Alright, I can do it. Oh, can I land? No, you can't land either. Take away all my options. Oh, that was no problem at all. What's this? Oh, I bet you, bet you didn't think about flying through. Oh, 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 no, 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 no! That was a bizarre explosion. Well, that's a very interesting build. I like that. Nice work, Toro. Alright, let's see what else we got. Next, we're going to be taking a look at the Beast Off-Roader. Best in game. In quotes. Best in game, quotes. Believe me, it's in quotes, it's gotta be real, right? By Devon. This beast will survive any fall. Looks amazing, can climb anyone. Has a working trunk, and it's a pickup. Ha! Oh, it's just got pluses all over the place. Alright, here is the beast. Nice, I like the uh, multitude of wheels. Check out the uh, suspension there, that's kind of smart. I'm connected in the middle of suspension as well. Well done, well done. Nice simple design, I like that, look at that. It's got a working trunk. Yeah, I guess you can put stuff in it. But. Ooh, nice. Nice, well, got decent handling. Suspension seems to work well. <clears throat> 50 mile an hour. Alright, jump number one. Here we go. Here we go. 
Nicely done. It's got nice flight pattern. Nice. All right, test number two. Now we won't drive it into a barrel. Not many things can survive that. Let's try taking it off this horrendous lip into the car ball arena. All right, here we go. Oh, 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 oh. What seems to have happened there? It wants to flip over backwards. Is it all the weight from the tires in the back? Must, must, must. Ooh, that's not nice. All right, let's get out of this place. Right, here we go. Can survive any fall, I believe it said. If I reckon correctly. Alright. You know it's a really high jump. Right, let's let's do a quick quick off-road test here. Oh yeah, piece of cake, piece of chocolate cake, piece of cake. No problem. No problem. Here, this is a good jump. Woohoo! You can survive any fall, he says. If it lands on its on its wheels, right? I'm assuming. I'm assuming that's a prerequisite for your claim to fame of surviving any fall. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! There we go. Alright, let's take it on a quick rip. Through some off-road obstacles. Over some edges. Like this. Nice. Over the grinder. Over the grinder. Here we go. Here we go. Doing well till it hit the wall. True story. That applies to all of us. Uh, yeah, well, no, we won't go in there because we're not going to survive that for sure. Oh, shizzle. There we go. Into a barrel. There's a nice spiral down to number 44. He's running down the 30, the 20. Oh! Incomplete. All right. Oh, it's cool. Beast. Definitely a good off-road vehicle. If you're looking for something to go around, that was a good design. I like that. All right, next we'll be taking a look at another off-road buggy. This is just called Off-Road by Gabriel. Nice, balanced, and fast. Those are, uh, those are a couple good things to have in your buggy. Balanced and fast. I like it. Let's check it out. There we go. Gabriel's Off-Road. Looks very nice. It's a very green. Oh. Roll cage with some lights, double seats, short wheelbase, funky exhaust. All right, let's see how this thing does. Woo oh, nice, nice. Oh, not, not gonna be so nice. Nope, 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 nope. Definitely not a wall climber. That first jump was nice though, very nice, nicely done. It flies very well in the air. It is balanced, and it is pretty fast. So once again, two out of two is excellent. Oh, look at that, look at that, look at that. Yeah, it's got nice weight balance for the uh, suspension and the weight of the whole thing. Uphill at 100 miles an hour. Downhill. I don't think so, Tim. <laughs> Just plants itself into the ground. Not even a wicked bounce. Done. All right. Up the ramp. Bada bing, bada bong. 
What? Oh, no bada bing bada ball. It, uh, when it hits the ground, it just stays there like bang. Yeah, I'm done. Don't want to do this anymore. No problem. No problem, man. No problem. I just do loop all the time, man. This is what I do in my spare time. I do a loop and then I drive into a wall. It's jousting fun. <laughs> nice job, Gabriel. That's a nice buggy. Alright, next thing we're going to be taking a look at is the Spaceship by Vaco. I just want my beard. Just the beard. Oh, that's a different guy. That's Vanco. <laughs> so yeah, this looks pretty interesting. Half black, half orange. Cool design. Lots of uh, lots of stabilizing wings on there. Lots of buttons. Let's push them and see what happens. The spaceship by Vaco. Have a quick look here. We have uh, some gimbals and some cannons and uh, it looks like underwater propellers as well. We have many, many power assist uh, stabilizing fins and uh, interesting shape. Let's see what is happening. Controls. Space W, S, A, B, left control, left shift, E and Q. All right. Uh, I'm going to assume that the space is for the thrust. Let us face this way. Uh, left control, left shift. What is, so this is gimbals. This is toggle gimbals. Left shift. Left shift is just those ones. Okay. So I believe it was this one and this one is for lifting off. Space bar for flying. Now we are flying. It's very fast apparently. It's going very fast. 200 miles an hour. Boost. He's turning very fast. He's so spinny. Okay, now I turn the skimbles off. And I start. Oh, he's uh, he wants to go where you pointed. All right, here we go. So it's it's very touchy on the controls when you're flying this way. And we have an E in the Q is for the big guns and the small guns, I believe. So we will go Q. Q is for small guns. Oh, he's very touchy. So that's his Q and the E is... Whoa! Did you see what happened there? What happened? What happened there? I shoot the wall and then I blow it up. I shoot it myself. I will look in the replay. It was very interesting. Alright. Let's try that again. So we do like this. No, we don't do like that. Not like that. We have to face it this way. Now we turn these ones on, we hit this one, space. Now we are in the air, we can turn the gimbals off. Not sure if you're supposed to have the gimbals on while you are flying, but it flies just fine with no gimbals. Okay, we are sub as well. Let's do it in the water. Splash down. Here we are. We are a little slower. Still have the controls. Still fire the cannons. But it being barabo. These are the big guns in the water. He's firing from below and from the top. It's like heartbeat. It's good tempo. He's jogging maybe. He has heart arrhythmia. Time to see doctor. Okay, now we try to leave the water. Come on, Mr. Spaceship, you can do it. You can do it. it apparently, it's going to take him a little bit, but uh, not straight up, maybe. We climb slow angle. And up we go. Nice. Well done. Next, we are looking at a stable ship thing. Very descriptive name, I totally understand. By Instantis. Stays in one place at any angle. Push buttons and. That's right. See what happens. Swappens? 
when you push buttons, man. Okay, let's have a look at the stable ship thing. Okay, this is the stable ship thing. It doesn't even want to fall on the ground. Come on, work with me, buddy. Okay, it's, it's appeared stable. We have some buttons. We have uh, DHA, left control, SWEQ, 1L and 2. Okay, uh, space bar. Oh, that moves me forward. I'm going to assume... Oh, no, that one rotates me that way. E and Q, maybe? Yes, yes, of course. Of course, don't be ridiculous. E and Q is for that one. Then we go up like this. No problem. Let's see, number one. See, it's supposedly stay in place. Boom. It's like Skylock. And, uh, can rotate a little bit and stop. Rotate a little bit and stop. And rotate and stop. Now this is how you lose your lunch. If you stay like this too long, all the blood rush to your head. Make it lightheaded. Good thing the ship fly itself. Look at this interesting thing going on here with the hinges at the back. Most interesting. Okay. Uh, so we got guns. Let's see. Push buttons. Number two. Oh, number two is for magnets in the front here. Got you, buddy. All right. I wonder what happens if you clip on something and it's a heavy. This thing holds itself, but can it hold another pop as well? Okay, number one. Oh, okay. Number one is for shooting cannons. Which would be very nice, because you can just position yourself however you like. And just shoot the cannons. And, uh, spin this way. Turn this way. Put the nose down like this. You can even shoot the sideways like this. Boom, shoot the bear, look at that, first try. Okay, and the space bar make us fly straight. It's, uh, it's not exactly uh, going to get to Paris anytime soon, but it's okay. Don't need to get there anyways. Nobody goes to Paris anymore, man. Oh, it's kind of crazy when you try to fly straight, now it's not wanting to behave. Stop. There you go. Good boy. Good boy. Good uh, stable space thing. Nice design though. It's definitely stable. I bet you the inside here is just packed with all kinds of thrusters and sensors and some of them little thrusters just going off. Nicely done. You completely eliminated the use of four gimbals by using 70 mini thrusters. Nice job. Good work. We're going to be taking a look at a Praying Mantis by Al, I believe. A-I? A-L? Al? I? I? What was I thinking? Well, it's a pretty big Praying Mantis. It's like a dinosaur mantis. It's very nice design though, I like it. It looks very realistic. Nice use of them parts. And the color suits it just great. It's got C, look at that. A couple of gimbals up there in the wings. Let's jump in and have a look, see what the controls are. Oh, we've got a few buttons. SW space 1 TA9. Oh, no, it's not a 9. Where did I get 9 from? It's a D. <laughs> Left shift G, E, and a Q. Alright, well, let's, uh, let's push buttons and see what happens. Okay, space. Ooh, space makes you do a little light-footed dance. Alright, S and W, I'm assuming. It's going to be forward and backwards, as well as a little head tilt. Sub ohms. Alright, we got 1 and T. What's 1 do? Oh, look at that. One folds up his arms. Nice. Nice. Alright. What's T do? Oh, now he's got flapping of the wings there. Alright, so I bet if I hit that space bar, we'll fly. That's right, look at that. Look at that. Impressive. It's quite impressive. We can turn as well. 
keep us in the air, lad. That's right, give us a little head nod. You ready to fly? Alright, so we got left shift, what's that gonna do? Maybe that gives us some forward propulsion, as it seems like it's doing. Makes sense. And then G, E and Q. Alright, so E. Oh, 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 up we go. Oh no, you can't attack that lad. It's not edible. It did crash a wee bit, but it still flies just fine. So E and Q, I believe. Aye, that's our roll. Woohoo! Now that's a stunt bug. Used to work at Hollywood. Major picture studios. Giant mantises. Okay, well, let's uh, rebuild because he's a wee bit floppy in the air. Alright, so T is for that. Let's figure out what the rest of the buttons do here. What's Q? Q and E, that's right, G. Oh, look at that! Get over here! <clears throat> Praying Mantis. Doing the scorpion move. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, that's great. I like that. Alright, so we can turn this way a wee bit. Rotate. Spin around. Left shift. Stay in the air. Stay in the air. Alright. Let's see if we can go land at that spawn point. Oh. Light without light. I can land it there. We will not have any legs left. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Nice and easy. Nice and easy, 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 easy. Oh, he doesn't want to go down. Oh, there he goes, there he goes, there he goes, there he goes. Nice and easy, nice and... Turn it on. Nice. Give us a... Woo, woo. <laughs> Nicely done. Alright, guys, I think we're going to wrap that one up here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, let me know what was your favorite uh, favorite build of the ones that I showed here. And uh, we will see you guys in the next one. Ciao.